the daughter of St. Philip. And that, that person has come and has expressed her total willingness and commitment to work in the interests of the parish where she was born and to recognize that having been the recipient of so much from this country that she wants now to give back in every possible way that she can give back to the people of her nation. She went to friendly school not far from here at St. Martin's Four Roads. So she understands what it is for a person who is going to public primary schools in this country, why it is so important for us to get them back into school as soon as possible and not to be the victim of just the online classes which you and I both know are way from satisfactory, way off from satisfactory in being able to ensure that our children can learn. And it's not just about the academics, it's about the social and emotional learning targets too. It's about being able to understand the discipline, it's about being able to know that you can beat the teacher in a game but you still got to respect her because she's your elder. It's about the other things in life that help make you that person to be able to walk through the rites of passage and to be a good citizen in a good society. But it wasn't only that she did that. Kay was well rounded from the beginning, and I refer to Kay McConney. She was a person who went and represented at age nine part of Barbados' children's first experimental theater, John, which many of us knew was literally that vehicle that took a bunch of young children to carry festa in Cuba in 1979. So she was representing this country from nine years old in 1979 in Cuba. But it wasn't only there. How many of you know that she was an athlete? How many of you know that she was not only an athlete, but she was a persistent athlete? Because you know, I keep saying that I'm a Jimmy Cliff girl and that you can get it if you really want and just try and try and try and you'll succeed at last. McLaren looking at me and laughing. But the truth is that we know it. Because having run in 1982 at the Central American and Caribbean Games and being a double silver medalist, she wasn't done there. Yet. She went to Karifka and won a silver medal in 1983 in hurdles, and I remember that because she was just behind me at school and that was the year I left school. But then she became a gold medalist in 1984. And the same Central American Games. And, and, and why am I telling you this? Because it don't matter to you whether she is sports or not, but it speaks to the character of the person who continued to build and build and build and build until she received excellence as she was required to do. And then she left and she went to study. And yes, Kay also went to Europe, recognizing that she wanted to expand her horizons. She wasn't prepared to be frightened by the fact that she didn't know anybody in Europe. Little girl from St. Philip, and she decided she'd go into Europe after she finished studying to work and became one of the first stagiaires to work in the European Union, coming from Barbados. Breaking new ground yet again.